Hi everyone. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm David, and as the title of this video is called The Battle of Red Wall, this video is going to be about the battle scenes within the first book of the Red Wall series and how both sides wanted Red Wall Abbey. Let's go. <laughs> This war could really be split up into three main battles. The first was a main mass attack kind of at the front gate. And while there was a second uh, attack, kind of second plan that was going on at the same exact time. Whereas the second main battle, what I would call the Baton Ram attack. While there's some other things going on as well at the same time. And then the final really the final climb was really the climatic one to end the whole conflict but i would say that the final one was not the coolest for me my favorite was the second battle and this has to do with how big high scaled it was and long lasting it was and because there was really three smaller battles going on at the same time. And the reason why I all fit into this main second battle is because really the schemes, the plans were, go were all made up and devising, put into action at the exact, around the same time of each other or during one of the others. And at the same time, the good creatures in, inside the walls really did their, held their own in fighting back and coming up with their own tactics that were really, really awesome. Both sides had their own warriors, and the ones I think they were had the good side's warriors with Matthias, Constance the Badger, Basilstag Hare, Warbeak, and Jess Squirrel, where the evil warriors were Clooney the Scourge, Redtooth, the Shadow, and Asmodeus the Snake. The good and the evil creatures both had their own forms of living conditions. The good creatures mainly lived at Redwall Abbey, which was a great life, but also a nice and soft and easy one. And so they lacked a lot of battle knowledge when it came to time for that. And with the exception of Basilstag Hare, who lived in his own comfortable home outside in the Mossler country, but he visited Redwall Abbey once in a while, and Warbeak, who probably had the harshest way of living of all the good creatures, where she lived in her nests with her other fellow birds, who had a, their own way of life. Whereas the evil creatures all were very had really a terrible living conditions, and this probably caused a, uh, a harsh reality really to them, and made them tough and. A lot of anger to them, which probably the anger probably wasn't really a great thing because it clouded their judgment a lot. Now, I'd like to break down the different fighters and see who would be the ultimate winner. First, there is Matthias, who's a great and determined fighter, but he's also small and is a lot of times missing from a fight because of his headstrongness and wanting to do it his own way. But he does have a sword. Then there's Constance the Badger, who is one of the largest of them all. She's very intelligent. She is feared by a lot of the evil creatures. And she has a fighting instinct. But she is also old and has lived most of her life at peaceful Redwall Abbey. Then there is Basilstag Hare, who is great at hiding and moving around in the forest. He is limber, though, though he never really has a great weapon of his own. But he's able to use his feet well with kicking and he's a great schemer then there is warbeak who can obviously fly and has a fierce personality and won't give up in a fight and she is loyal to a fault though she can be shut out of the sky and can't lift much into the air in flight then there is jess squirrel who has a great climbing agility that helps her because she uses it in almost every scenario she's a great warrior spirit and she plans a lot and helps them out in a lot of their tactics they end up coming up with. Then there's Clooney the Scourge, who is the head of a huge army. He is feared by all for both his reputation and his look. 
which has to do with his scars and his whip-like tail and how huge he is. And he is almost a legend. Even when he was almost dead, no one dare go came near him. And even when he was crazy, no one really believed it. He is both smart and cunning. There is Red Tooth, who is my personal favorite. He's in second command. He's trusted by Clooney. He is smart, and he's a great fighter, though he's smaller than Clooney. Next is the Shadow. Everyone fears him, including Clooney. He is the best at sneaking around, with the exception, possibly, of Battlestag Hair. He seems to be the expert at almost anything, and he is quick and agile. Lastly, there is Asmodeus the Snake. He doesn't have much part in taking Redwall Abbey, though he dominates the area as if it is his and kills many around. He is poisonous and by far the largest of them all, and he hypnotizes with his eyes like as if they were magic. And my choice for winner of this whole lot is Matthias. I know, I know he's the easy pick and he's the hero of this whole story, but I don't think you can ignore the fact of his sword. It's such a huge thing. And I know my favorite character is Red Tooth, and it still is, it still remains that. And I think if circumstances were different, that either he or the Shadow would have a shot at all of this. I hope you enjoyed listening and watching this. If you did, please hit that like button. If you'd like to watch more, please subscribe to my channel, A Talk About. And I'll catch you next time.